Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. Your WECT first alert weather app travels well with you, not just here. Of course, locally, we're talking across the entire country. QR codes on your screen. If you got a second, pull your phone out, scan it. Make sure you're all up to date. You also want to make sure your location settings are set to follow you. And you can take that first alert forecast from Wilmington, North Carolina to Wilmington, Delaware, all the way across the country, as noted. Let's uh, take a peek real quick at that interactive radar. We are picking up a few light sprinkles just coming in off the coast, but most everyone else is dry. You have probably noticed clouds a little more substantial than when you left the house this morning. I think most times and places you'll be okay to have lunch outside. Be warmer in the days ahead, but unfortunately rain chances going to be a little higher, so that might negate some of those plans. In fact, some of those showers and storms could be on the strong or even severe end. Storm Prediction Center weighing in with that, putting all of southeastern North North Carolina under a level one out of five or a marginal risk for severe weather, mainly damaging wind gusts would be the big concerns that would pick, uh, happen to ping something on the severe end. also a couple of storms that may try to rotate. So we've got to watch the radar closely as this front ultimately pushes through and showers ahead of that too. outside of anything severe. We'll look for just generally gusty winds, some torrential downpours and even some lightning too. enough convective elements that we'll need to watch for that as well. Take you outside with our West Shore home first alert sky cam in Elizabethtown, basically going all across southeastern North Carolina. A few variable clouds there. You compare that to downtown Wilmington, a little more on the overcast side. We'll pull in the stats from ILM Airport, 63 degrees. Winds right now out of the north, close to 10 miles an hour. Eventually those winds will be shifting to the south and that will help fuel us into the 70s come tomorrow. One thing to note though, cloud coverage will likely limit us uh, as far as temps cooling off tonight. So 50s most likely, and I think we'll hit those overnight lows probably just after midnight, maybe one o'clock thereabouts. Notice your wind shifting now to the southeast. And once we warm up, that's really going to propel temps back into the lower 70s. Let's take a look at the national view. It's this big mass of showers we're watching. It's tracking to the east across the Carolinas. For now, just some variable clouds and some moisture coming in off the coast. That's about the worst of it. Let's take you forward from 3 o'clock all the way through the overnight. Showers starting to perk up again off the coast. Here comes that main line. We're watching mainly for a late afternoon time frame, even a few showers left over during the course of the overnight too. And latest modeling is keeping some of these shower bands around, if you can believe it, through parts of Wednesday afternoon. So you'll want to keep an eye on the radar. Budget a few extra minutes, perhaps, if you're traveling by car or even by plane as well. Seven-day forecast will speak to that there. Thursday, we're dry. We're looking good. Much cooler too, Kim. In fact, plenty of lower and middle 60s heading into the weekend. Another chance for a few showers, but I do think there's going to be lots of dry time to get an early jump on some of that holiday shopping. All right. Thanks, Gabe.